Trippy Red has been working hard on an album, Live, Laugh, Love, Die, and we have a ton of snippets and updates recently, and also a leak problem we unfortunately have to discuss. So before we jump into things, like, comment, subscribe to both of my channels. I also have a Discord, go join that and follow me over on my Twitch as well. So Trippy's been in the studio and he's been working on his album, LLLD, uh, for a while now. And if you guys don't know already, he's not doing Life's a Trip Part 2. He switched what album he's working on this year, and we're not really certain if it's gonna drop in the last couple months of 2020. 2024 but with so many people dropping in hip-hop and you know trippy not really having a rollout for this yet no reason to rush it i think trippy should take his time and make the best album possible and give us a classic again i really liked his post from a couple months ago with this picture of a wizard where he said this is what the work that i've done on the album feels like but we are awaiting to see what trippy does next as he has cleared his instagram feed the other day recently trippy actually kind of caught a sneaky w in my opinion because he charted a song on billboard with ksi which was the meme of Thick of It, which I mean, Trippy's just the 22nd feature collecting the bag and was in the music video that has over 46 million views. KSI was the one who was catching all of the slack and doing all the promotion for the song. Trippy was just kind of there because the song matched the vibe of his music. We also have a ton of snippets uh, potentially from this album that I want to go through almost in order, but first we have to talk about this leak problem that's completely out of hand. Trippy's talked about it, you know, recently in a tweet saying that his last four albums have leaked a week before they came out. Don't you guys get tired of this uh, and he's covered it in the past you know with mansion music and pegasus and 2023 albums like a love letter to you five and so much more stuff has just leaked out of the blue i don't know if it's someone in trippy's camp that's leaking stuff behind his back i don't know if trippy's getting sim swapped or his passwords one two three four i have not really tapped into the leaks that much just because i don't want to like spoil the next album so i can actually do you know legit reactions on here and be surprised when things come out but i have noticed the amount of leaks has just been out of control and i'm starting to feel really sorry for trippy with some Sucks, but I do think Trippy shouldn't, you know, cancel songs uh, from ever coming out or, you know, not being on his next project be just because they're leaked because it is such a small percentage of fans that are listening to the leaks. Most people aren't even going to know that the stuff leaked in the first place. So I don't think it should really affect his release as much going forward. I get it takes away the element of surprise or might, you know, kill the hype for him a little bit um, because, you know, he wanted to announce it maybe a certain way down the line. But I hope one day there's a point where Trippy can escape the leaks and, and find out a way, you know, internally how to to solve this problem. Let's backtrack just over a month ago, really one of the first times Trippy mentioned LLLD with a brand new title, you know, track snippet, being honestly still one of the best snippets right here. This song is a must release. And we also got a couple other snippets like Le Grande Blue, which I think is extremely overhated. One in a Million is one that also has a music video that we've talked about in the past. And 12th of February is one that also looked like it had a little montage, a lot more of a softer track I really like. <laughs> I just want to keep going down the list almost of some of the other leaks we've gotten in batches in the last month or so. Freak Out is a pretty good rage song with an electric guitar that I really like. And See Myself is kind of the complete opposite. But you might notice that nasal voice that I feel like a lot of people have been talking about, you know, in the next few snippets that I'm going to be showing you guys. And it is kind of hit or miss for me. He actually went back to singing on a ton of stuff, yelling in his ad libs and giving us low voices and different vibes in 2023. I just don't think people appreciate it as much because they're too busy hating on Trippy and not listening to his projects. So I could see how Trippy goes, nah, I'm just going to continue doing that nasal voice because, you know, me going back to older sounds didn't really work for him last year entirely. But a fan did mess is trippy in dm saying you have to use more of a deeper voice style i've noticed some comments saying he needs to do it as well and he gave an example of a few leaks and trippy said will do but i think it'd be really cool if trippy combined all of his voices and all of his sounds into one album because he needs to still have versatility i think for people to enjoy his albums the most right now but now i want to talk about a couple collabs as we saw trippy link up with babyface ray they even had a snippet together in the studio and also don't forget i haven't talked about it in a while i almost forgot about about it, the trippy metro and future collab on the way that hasn't leaked yet and hopefully it doesn't i wouldn't even be surprised if it does soon but we don't really know what that song sounds like and it's something to look forward to you know maybe even a lead single down the line going into this next album hopefully and then a week ago trippy posted three snippets himself with this orange filter that i think are all really fire they do use that nasal voice but there's some key producers here being filthy and pierre <laughs> Right 
Artemis I'm not gonna lie, the one with Pierre Schemen has to be my absolute favorite out of this particular batch. It's really cool to see Trippy link up with him again. They had a couple songs in 2023. Trippy and Filthy could be really cool. He's a really respected producer in the last few years with his work uh, within the underground and with Opium. He also gave a shout out to Bosley on his Instagram. He's working with him and Bosley was on a ton of Mansion Music songs, which I feel like this album is gonna be heavily reminiscent of. One of Trippy's uh, producers and affiliates, Harold, previewed a batch of new snippets over the weekend I definitely need to talk about. Die For Mine is really hard, but I think that Thug feature can't go unnoticed. I heard that it is from maybe a couple years ago. He had a Thug open song, and also, we know that Trippy and Wayne were in the studio, and it's cool to see the product of this song actually get snippeted. That's arguably my favorite snippet yet. That song actually did, unfortunately, leak as well. If you go to Instagram, Red Files and Baba Lamb's page actually posted a list of a few of the tracks that leaked, including some rock songs and some other grails from earlier this year. There's a lot of goaded stuff from early 2024 trippy um that has started to leak and all the love letter to you five era stuff leaked i remember also on this post you can find more leaks there's one with the wayne that i was talking about and von off 1700 and a couple others so comment down below if you guys are excited for trippy's next album and if you guys like any of these previews or snippets uh, let me know in the comments down below as well thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video I have a twitter instagram go check me out there subscribe to both of my channels join my discord follow me over on twitch more trippy videos and updates coming soon love you guys peace